Did you ever think of starting up a store business? Call it food business. And some people commonly term it as grocery business. This video is specifically made for you to change your life from zero to a millionaire. Of course, if this is your first time to be on my YouTube channel, kindly, kindly make it a point to hit the subscribe button down there at Marimba Fachi so that you're not missing out any other video about business whenever I upload. Of course, many of you, when you hear of a store business, you think of huge capital. You know, that's what comes into your mind. Huge capital. Capital is too much. You need a lot of capital. But that's not true. In this video, I'm going to break it down for you and see how simple and cheap it is to start a store business. And of course, everyone watching this video, you have all it, it takes to start a store business. You have the capacity to own such business without fail and you prosper in it. If we're able to start such kind of business from little capital, you know, we had little capital. Later on, I will share with you how much uh, money I started with, but it was too little. So if I was able to start, then even you watching this video, you have the capacity to start the same business. Now, to you watching now and accepting this idea, you need the following tips, which I must to make you successful in this business. And number one tip, you must align properly your dominant item in your business or in your store or in your grocery or in your food business. For example, here in my store, the dominant item is rice, meaning customers will easily identify you by that commodity. For example, here in my store, most of my customers, you know, identify me or call me, commonly identify me as Tata Mucheli. Some people call me Tata Mucheli. Some others call me, you know, rice store and others call me Duka Mucheli. You understand so simply because I supply more of rice than any other item that doesn't mean that you do not sell other items no because in my store I sell you know rice as a dominant product but again I sell um, posho you know commonly you, you call it posho but that's maize fra I sell maize fra then I sell beans I sell soya, you know, uh, soya porridge. Then I sell millet fra, uh, sugar, among other items that make it a store business. But now you must have that one product that is commonly supplied in your store so that people can identify you by that. That's tip number one. It is very important. And now tip number two. Tip number two, you must choose your supplier properly. Who is supplying you? Where, you, where are you getting your produce? You know, you're, you're buying them from which kind of destination, which source? For example, here in my store, I buy rice from Tanzania because we know that is the cheapest destination for rice selling. So uh, the tax, uh, techniques and tactics of importing rice from Tanzania later alone I will share it in my next video so what you need to do hit the subscribe button so that you're not missing out that video how you know um, we import rice through Mutukra border and then be able to uh, to sell it here domestically then of course I buy uh, maize fra commonly know, uh, known as posho from uh, most of chisen milling machines you know you chisen that is here in kampara downtown and uh, i buy my maize from 
most of the milling machines then beans i buy them from kafumbe mukasa still here in downtown you see so i must now show you how to choose who is your supplier properly because that's where the business uh, rotates if you do not have proper supplier then you cannot be successful in this business so later on we shall uh, in my uh, subsequent uh, videos we shall explore more about who will supply you in case you're interested in this business if you're interested please feel free uh, to leave a comment under the comment section so that i be able you know to talk to you privately or later after this video now let's go to tip number three which is very important very important and this is very important you must must have equipments to support your store business these are the equipments uh, number one equipment you must have a weighing scale you cannot do a store business without a store without a weighing scale it is very important yeah there is this other weighing scale where you will need to have a lot of your items maybe nobitu zako in a weighing scale of year one c okay and that one is very important because most of these items are heavy so you cannot color them so you need this weighing scale get my point and that weighing scale it is about 400,000 Ghanaian money that's about 114 US dollar then another equipment you need in the store this time around you need what we call bag closer bag closer in Ugandan market it's about 800,000 that's about 220 US dollar but it does a lot of work because most of items you need to rebuck them by yourself okay you need to make you know a lot of uh, you know uh, different sizes of, of bags you can have 25 kilograms you can have 50 you can have 100 kgs you know you can have you know even 10 kgs of your item you can even have five kgs for example we sell five kgs of posho we sell 10 kgs of posho uh, we sell five kgs of rice 10 kgs of of rice but of course you cannot import them in that size so it means you need to do that work from your store now that's why i do most of this work here in my store so i bought this uh, bag closer at about 114 US dollar that's no no uh, about 220 US dollar that's about 800,000 and now i do a lot of packaging from here here as you can see the tactics about this machine i will let alone share it with you but it is very important to have this machine in your store business of course i said anything you want to ask please leave the comment under the comment section maybe you can even check in my description section so that we uh we have a conversation after this video now tip number three which is also very important you must choose dealers who can even borrow you stock okay or sell you on credit then go sell also and then pay them later in this business for a fact that it requires uh, a people uh understand this business that it requires a lot of money so what do you need to do with this time round you need to have friends in this business drillers who you will discuss and agreement and then give you stock go sell them and pay them in that identified period of time but of course this comes with integrity and honesty you must make sure that you're honest in this business okay because if you just pray with this business then you have no business so make sure you have people who can you know supply you with stock because the business to be honest requires a lot of money for example to have a full truck cargo truck which carries about 33 tons of rice goes up to 100 in fact more than 100 million ugandan shilling just because 
I'm just calculating a ton at about 3.1 million. So it means the whole cargo truck, okay, carries about 33 tons. That's that's about 100 million. Imagine. Tip number five: Choose the location for your store business. People choose this poorly, and then they fail this business. At times. Uh, you find they place their business wherever they want, but that's not good. That's not true You cannot thrive and survive in this business when you have no proper uh, Business location for example, I advise you to choose in a place that is a bit busy It be in the town the middle of a the town then place there your business It must grow faster than deep deep down in the village or somewhere else because here you'll be selling on wholesale uh, largely. What times you can choose, you can choose uh, to press it in, to press it in perfect competition market. Yes, this one it is nice and very nice. However, it is costly to have a place to have a room in there as you know they are very expensive uh, like rent is high because perfect competition everyone is selling rice it has a lot of customers they are flocking in out all the day uh, long so that one is really nice i advise you but if you find a place please go for that one for example i give an example of naka is a market that is around chisenyi market in the heart in the heart of kampala downtown yes when you have a room there please go first fill it because it is a potential area for your business for this kind of business because everyone goes there and understands everyone goes there well knowing that he's going to find rice that's why people are just correcting from all over the country come to nakaiza market in the heart of Kampala downtown to shop uh, their produce or maybe rice all those other items that are included in your shop business now with all these tips I've shared with you feel free to you know to leave a comment under the comment section you know send me an inbox I'll be able to add on because I have a lot more to share with you yes all that I can say if you have not said if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly make it a point to hit the subscribe button so that you're not missing out the next video i'm going to share about what are the technicalities the tactics of importing rice from tanzania maybe manza it can be through um uh, water lake victoria then to port bell and then you get your rice or maybe through trucks cargo trucks direct from uh, tanzania through mutokura border and then it gets to uganda so if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel kind of make it a point to hit the subscribe button so that you're not missing out a lot more of the business tips whenever i upload see you i love you so much